Oh, this is good. Uh, yeah, 100%. I said I would finish him in the first round, and I did. I envisioned that moment since I was 15 years old. I feel that I could have done that when I was 15. So I've seen this about 10 million times in my head. How hard did he hit you the, the, the second, the second round? I mean, you felt that, I'm guessing, but yeah, hard <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I did not feel it. But, you know, it was good to kind of show everybody that I'm not going to shy away from it. I'm here to fight. A lot of jiu-jitsu guys would have crumbled under those shots. They would have looked for a way out, and they would have ran. So I came. I, I kept going forward. I faced my adversity, and I got him to the ground and finished him. Did you have an ideal scenario in your head when you came into this fight, such as, I would love to knock, to knock this guy out and not have to finish him on the ground just to show people, hey, man, guess what? Yeah. There's a second dimension here. I came in here free. Like Bruce Lee says, no way is way. You know, I just came in and said, I'm going to be free in there, and I'm not going to put anything in my head. So... I got one in there, and I was just feeling everything, and I just went with the moment. You know, I, I believe that jujitsu is the, you know, it's still just like back in the day. It, it, it'll, it's the best martial art in the world. So I, I was very confident. How were you surprised about that? Uh, no, actually, I felt great. I was, I was, I felt like I was at home. I, I wasn't even nervous. I, I said this before: when you're this good, you don't feel pressure. How would you grade your performance? I would say, I don't know. I, I, I'm happy with my performance, though. You know, it was my first fight. A lot of people get to do, you know, warm-up fights and stuff like that. You know, and I came out. I took this whole card on my back. I did all the media. This fight is the second biggest fight in Bellator history. So how many people are making their debut like that, taking all the media, doing all this stuff, talking the big game? Nobody. Everybody else would have lost. So I feel like a Can good performance. Can you put a number on how many shades you've got? How many have you got? One for every day of the week. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't you know. heard from Connor after. Yeah, I did. You know, he was very happy with my performance and very happy for me. You called out Ben Ayers for this yeah. in a post fight interview. Why Ben Ayers? I believe I'm the one to derail his undefeated streak. You know, he would not be able to handle me on the ground, and he has no striking, so it would end up in the ground, and I feel like I would submit him easy. So that's how would Bellator get him back? Two plus that is co owner now. How would they bring him back? Well, you know, I just tell Scott Coker that let's just bless him with a one day contract or something like that. So I just, I don't know. If I say he, him, uh, if I say get him, we'll get him. Did you read Ben's response? Yeah. No, what does he say? Said, uh, I'd like somebody with a winning record. That's fine, but then where is he at? You know, that's just looking for an excuse, you know. He knows he has no leg thought defense. He knows that he's scared of the ground game, so he knows what the real shit is. There's a reason that he responded. He wanted to respond to many. You might be responding now. Your phone's blowing up. Yeah, I know. My battery's going to die, too. Anything else? I don't know. That was a that was a crazy high. So we'll see. I want to do this again. <laughs> yeah. Actually, just kind of like just started training, and that was like that was my stance. It's weird, actually. Uh, I watch a lot of you know Bruce Lee and, and karate stances, and just kind of. Form, especially because I have a little bit of a wide stance in jiu-jitsu, it just became easy for me. You know, I was laying on my feet, you know, and then once I started getting my strikes going, I felt a little bit more comfortable. You know, I got out there, I got a little slow, but once I started getting in there, I felt like Bruce Lee, so. Ah, that's a stupid question. I don't know. On a night full of submissions like we had tonight, who would you give the bonus to? Would it be you or would it be somebody else? It would be me, 100%. I mean, who else? came in here with a, what I came in here, all the shit that I did, all the stuff. I mean, I made this card, basically. All these guys are just submitting guys, but just, you know, they don't have the same kind of stuff that I had to deal with. So I made this card, so you would have to give it to me. Well, no, I, I, I believe this since the beginning that, you know, you could pull guard and a, in MMA, and a lot of people are like, no, you can't do that. It's ridiculous. And I said, no, you know, like, I believe that, my guard is good enough to submit anybody in the world, so I just need to get the person to the ground. And it's over. Yeah, I, I like Chicago. It's kind of like New York, so yeah, I really like the fans. Everybody was really cool when I came out. It was awesome, and it's a great city. You know, you guys got deep dish pizza. I love pizza, so yeah, I, I like Chicago a lot. I'm gonna go out and get drunk or something. I need some alcohol. <laughs> But I want to go out, yeah, and just enjoy the moment. You know, there was a, a lot went into this. So a lot of people don't see how much goes into this. And I want to enjoy it tonight. Would it mean anything that Hoist Grayson lost it? Yeah, that's cool, man. It is cool. Hoist Grayson is a legend. And I feel like that was like a Gracie in action or something. You know, like I always envisioned that since I was a kid watching those. So that was basically like a Gracie in action. 
you know, I come from a jiu-jitsu background, so it is very cool. Hoist Gracie is a legend, and, uh, you know, he had a lot of kind of words for me, too. It, it's, it's really cool. He said that, you know, you kept your composure. You know, he said a lot of people say jiu-jitsu doesn't work nowadays, and, and it does, and he was saying that he was very proud of the way I kept my composure, and, you know, even with the shots, and I got it to the ground and stuff like that, you know.